basically been here all day. <laughs> she, 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 she's she, she's heard, she could do, I, she could do it as speech, but yeah, it's okay. That's for good. this first part. That's but good. I want to go over it with you, just in case you have any questions. Okay. So this is what Trollor came up with, just general info about rendezvous. Okay. And you are, you're kind of familiar with what it is. Yeah. Fourth graders yeah. study Colorado history, yeah. and so the museum's we role in that is. Sub -room, so I could come and work my gosh. <laughs> well, because it's more important that Because they needed a school arm. <laughs> yeah. So that's why I have to be here, because uh, it's a whole different mm, layout well, now. You don't even have to take a day off of work. No. <laughs> Well, sort of. No, I can't. I can't. Yeah. I so, so, so conceptually, I'm set. <laughs> yeah, based on what they learn in mm -hmm. in fourth grade, we want to try and enhance that, give them an experience that they wouldn't. Something they wouldn't get really to. Yeah. Yeah. And so this year, you heard a little bit about it. This year, it's five stations. They are all the same um, every day. Mm -hmm. So, the kids who come on Tuesday get the same experience as the kids who come on Friday. Okay. Um, and in, that's different from in the past, but working with PSD curriculum coordinators, that, that works well with the standards for the state, and it, it works well for just the overall experience of the kids. Well, they can't all come on one day. Yeah, yeah that would be terrifying. That was, oh my gosh, 1,600 kids. Yeah. Hmm. Is that yeah. really what you It is. Mean? We've got, mm -hmm. what, how many? Holy shit. 1,600. That's Almost whole school. every, every school, school is coming. I think it's 27 schools, oh, and wow. a couple of them are doing some other history field trip, so they didn't see the need to do this one, too, and they, you know, you can't pay for that many they're buses. Missing. But next year, they'll know. Yeah. They'll be so, sad. So in these five <laughs> stations, the kids rotate through to all five. They're approximately 85 kids in each group um, along with their teachers and their chaperones um, and so I, I think based on the registration numbers that you're going to have a, a group for each each of the five rounds I, I don't I really don't think that there are any oh. empty slots oh. like you get your first 30 minutes off because I think there are enough kids that you'll be with them each of those five sessions. Um, and you don't have to worry about making sure they get to their next spot. There are people designated in each group to lead them to their next place. So, yeah, which is really nice. <laughs> really nice. Um, the rotations are 30 minutes each, and then they get a little passing period of like five or seven minutes. And also those movers and shakers, <laughs> they're supposed to be keeping track of the time. They've got their schedule. They should, you know, so you don't get too caught up in whatever you're teaching. They'll, they should be Give keeping track of that. Yeah. Look out. <laughs> yeah. So that helps. Um, and the stations the will start at 9:30, but we ask that you come at 8:30 so that you have time for setting up, making sure everything's there, you're ready to go, and so you have time to eat breakfast, which is provided by PSD Catering. Yes. Um, lunch is also provided, so at 12.30 when the stations are over, you come on back to the classroom, download on how it went. This is the first year we're doing rendezvous like this, so we want to get feedback um, from everybody who's helping out. Um, are you interested in wearing costume? I love to wear my costumes. Yeah, cool <laughs> costume. What is your She's costume? The original. Well, I'm, uh, oh, it's uh, probably your lady. Your school <laughs> yeah, my school mom. So that that is fine. Does it to fit wear. in with my yes um, topic? Um, if you're historically accurate. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, but here we have a, a Native American, oh, sort of advisory council. So we are going to shy away from no doing Indian any dress. Indian dress because um, we didn't have time to consult with them and they're not going to be here. For parking, oh, yeah. there are going to be 10 to 13 school buses here. They're going to be in that back lot and on the east side. We're, so staff isn't going to be parking on that east side. We're not, no one's going to be parking over there. You can park in the parking lot. There are also going to be chaperones parking there potentially, and then general public who are coming to the museum on those days. So 
I mean, you'll get the first slot if you come at 8.30, so. <laughs> but it, there's a potential that parking's gonna be tight. And then you know all about how Rendezvous used to be, and then it's very different this year. Um, so some, some teachers may teachers. come to you and say, okay, what about the gold panning station? Yeah. Yeah. And we have these trunks that are listed down at the bottom that they can call the museum, rent them out, and still get that experience. Um, but yeah, the event is for the students, so I not for the teachers. Gilbert? <laughs> <laughs> I know you wouldn't do that. Think Come that. On. You can think that. that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's just general overview. Ready? Any questions on that? No. <laughs> so Hopefully it'll be nice. Oh, we've, we've talked about so the transportation technology innovation station. That's the one that we're. Uh, it's it's on the roof. Have you guys been up on the roof? Yeah. Now? Okay. Roof so way, you yeah. sort of have a picture of what it's like. Mm -hmm. um, this is one that. So some of the of the five stations. Some of them are large group. Um, explanation. Some of them are large group, but you get to go experience something after you get your large group directions, like the mining one. Um, this one is broken into three mini stations. So there will be three facilitators up there, and the kids are going to rotate every eight, eight minutes. So it's going to be quick. Um, and yeah, because it's the first time, we'll see we'll see how it works. But it's it's not too too in depth in each station, each mini station, I should say. Um, but that's the the gist of it. So there will be one group in that little conference room where there are tables, right next to the elevator room. Mm -hmm. and there will be one group uh, where the wall kind of goes down outside, so that the kids can see over it. And then there will be one group in the north west corner where if you walk out of the elevator room that's where mm -hmm. they will be um, and the the inquiry question that is sort of guiding this whole station is how have coloradans used technological innovations to improve transportation so it's looking at more like thinking of um, transportation and technology of Pre, of, well, pre-2000 and the you know, early 1900s and the trolleys and the trains um, and then looking and comparing that to transportation and technology of today. So the first mini station is in the, so if you can picture this, the kids are going to come up the stairs from the dome and they're going to just pop out on the middle of the roof. Mm -hmm. And they each have, on their name tags, they have an A, a B, or a C, so that they can automatically split mm -hmm. into their three groups. Those mm -hmm. movers and shakers who are leading the group will be able to direct them, split up into your three little groups. Um, so mini station number one is historic photos and artifacts, and it's in the conference room. So tables will be set up around the edge of the conference room, and there will be Things like this um, scattered around on all the tables. So a couple of them are comparison pictures of like wow. Union Pacific um, Depot, Depot, yeah, the Union Pacific Mara. Depot compared to the Rodizio, and how, like, what is different in those pictures? Um, some of them are just looking at. The transportation technology of 1911, when this, the first passenger train came through Fort Collins, and comparing it to well, what modern technology helps you stay better connected outside of Fort Collins. So this is like a once once they know what to do in this room, they're kind of on their own to go pick whatever they want to look at, and on each of these. There's either a little talk bubble that you can explain to the kids, all right, so when you find a talk bubble on one of these papers, 
find someone next to you that you're walking around with, and tell them, how much would you pay to ride on the trolley? And then there are these little do arrows. So this one says, here's the old picture, here's the new one. Point to all the differences that you notice. So, okay, there aren't tracks anymore coming out of the trolley barn. That means something. Um, and then there's, this is the only sort of artifact that's going to be up there. Just that, and if, if you feel like they can't handle putting on this hat without destroying it, just put it away, that's fine. <laughs> but there's some trolley tokens too they can take a look at. So that stuff will be up there. Um, so that's the gist of this station. At the end, we would ask that they can, they can come back together and you can kind of debrief for a minute or maybe not at all because there's no time. But I, I put some questions on here of like finishing up questions. What, what kinds of transportation did you see in these pictures? How is it, what's, how's the technology different? Just little thinking questions for as you gather them back up before they walk out the door to that low part in the wall where the next station's at. Is it clockwise or come? It'll be clockwise. Okay, that, yeah. that helps. <laughs> It'll be clockwise. Okay. So the next mini station is at the part in the wall where they can kind of peek over it um, without falling off. <laughs> But there will be lots of adults up there, so it's good. Um, they are each going to get, so there will be like 25 to 30 kids in these mini stations. They're each going to get a little clipboard with this tally sheet on it and can explain to them that they're going to look over the edge, not fall over the edge, just look over the edge and see what kinds of different transportation, forms of transportation they can find. Um, so my one fear is that they would be like, cars, there are so many cars. I'm just gonna stand up here for eight minutes and count all the cars. I would say find as many as you can and then do the tallying. That, that way they won't get distracted by the tallying stuff. And I think cars and trucks can be separate. I sure, oh yeah, yeah. for fourth graders? Yeah. Yeah, like people walking, the train. Bikes. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. there's also like across the street from the Dasbog coffee mm -hmm. shop on the corner, you can see it over the roof, is the trolley barn. Ah. Which is this guy. Oh. Painting of the trolley barn. Cool. Yeah. It's serious. It's cool. absolutely cool. beautiful. Sweet. That's my favorite piece of art that I own. So that's a cool thing to point out to them. Oh, that well, that's what it looks like now. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have any idea. I know. Yeah. Look at those black doors. Okay. So that's where they're refurbishing trolleys. Oh, I see. Uh, oh, I see. Second oh, car. Which one? Oh, yeah, the second, second one. Second car number 51 okay. or 31 or whatever it is. Okay. So they can take a couple minutes to do their survey, find as many things as they can, and then Part of a follow-up activity is that um, teachers can use this information and have the kids make a bar graph when they get back mm -hmm. to school. Excellent. So it's nice that we have teachers there, we have chaperones there. I would collect all these things back and say, all right, teacher, here's the teacher's oh, little yeah. envelope. Mm -hmm. Find all your kids' papers, put them in there. And then leaving them with the kids, they'll never Yes. Oh, so collect everything. Excellent Teachers can idea. grab whatever they want for their little envelope. If they yes. don't want to do that, that's then fine. Then no here I do. Yeah. Um, so that'll all be up there, kind of on a just on a table in the middle of the room. Yes. And I've also I put some follow up questions for that station too. Just to, you know, we're not doing this just to serve, but, you know, what, what was there a lot of as far as transportation goes? What didn't you see? Oh, I love this one. What old technology do you wish was still here? Mm -hmm. that, that would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> so before they run off to their next mini station, they're, they're coming back and, and they're thinking about, yeah. yeah. 
So menu station number three is in that corner, sort of by the elevator. There, are, it's a little bit of a taller wall, but there are windows in it too, because this is a sort of a serving. This is more like a group serving. Um, comparing 20th century or earlier oh, to modern technology that they can see, modern technology and transportation. So this will be up there in the corner or next to the elevator room, just on an easel. Um, and you can have everybody just sit around, stand around, whatever, and ask them, what are some modern technologies or modern innovations that you know of? And write up whatever they can think of. All right, and how about in the 1900s or before that? How were people transported? What kind of technology did they have? Write down everything they can think of. Um, and then you can give them a couple minutes to sort of wander around that corner of the building and see if they can spot anything else from home, particularly from modern day. Um, but maybe there's old stuff too, like well, the trolley barn they can see from there. Um, Across the street, there's a what, power plant? Or is that on the street? Right it's across college. College. Across college. college. I don't know if they can see that though from here. I, I haven't, and well, there's that. There's, whole power plant yeah. way out there. I don't know well, if you can see it. Well, there's something on the bike trail you pass. It's it just directly yeah. across the street. I yeah. parked there for, for opening day. <laughs> oh, okay, so yeah. Just so exactly that's, how far it was. So that, was, yeah. it, so, but so it, that is in sight. It's not transportation. Though. Well, transportation or technology. Steam. Oh, technology. Steam. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Wouldn't it be, weren't early things steam powered? Only the Stanley Steam was not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so okay. then they can they can take time to look for other stuff. They're also visible from up there, or the solar panels on the roof of this building. Yeah. So you could hold off on leading them towards solar panels at first and see if they can spot them. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. um, then this is just the teacher in me that that thought of this. Um, so it's kind of prescriptive. If it doesn't work for you, that's OK. Bringing them all back together. You like to keep every kid engaged. Mm -hmm. So one kid says, I saw solar panels. All right, so everybody, is that a modern thing, mm -hmm. a little M? Or is that an old thing? Mm -hmm. And so then they can add to this list after they've done their little scavenger hunt looking for stuff. Mm -hmm. And I also put some other questions on there your favorite kind of modern technology? What old technology do you wish was still around today? Um, it's just a little, like, summarizing. Uh, tying things about together, it all. right, yeah. Tying it to something they know. Um, and then at the end of that last mini group that comes through, we, just, we still want to try and tie it back to the inquiry question of what have, how have Coloradans used technology and innovations to improve transportation? Mm. So if they, can, if they can come up with anything new after that half hour, that's great. <laughs> if not, that's OK. They still got a great experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. make some on the roof. Yeah. Hang out on the roof and check everything out. And then they will all, because new kids are going to come up those outdoor stairs, um, they will all exit through the conference room, there's a staff oh, only door. Oh, yeah. um, and those group hosts will know what to do. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they'll, they'll just end up shuffling out through the conference room stairs and to the next station. And I noticed, I didn't see that on the notes at 1230 putting out. Yeah, so that's just uh, putting the things away. So you know they're not left out there. Right. So at the top of those stairs, there's a little landing. So like, mm. these clipboards can go over in the landing, this thing over in the landing, and every, I mean, it's just tables in the conference room, really, it's the only other thing. And they can stay with that. Oh, oh put these tables in the conference, so they stayed up there. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Very, yeah, so you're using all parts of the museum inside we and outside sure are. on the yeah. roof for what? You don't want to bring your families next week. <laughs> 1,600 people? Oh, no. Over 400.
four days. It's just it's oh, just four hundred per day. Four hundred. Okay, only four hundred. I can't imagine that, but oh. I'm sure that you have that many here on the weekend, probably more. During all day. Yeah, like through eight time. hours. <laughs> <laughs> not, not at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, be prepared. Yeah. Are the dumpster yeah. stations like off in corners? Or? The, the mining station is in here. Oh. There's a fur trade biodiversity station That's by the biodiversity, biodiversity wall. Okay. Oh, cool. um, the amphitheater out in the Outside. big backyard is, is the cultural diversity. And then there's one in the gallery. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah so we've got that. it covered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, then actual, like, regular visitors will be able to. Well, they, they can have some they sanity. Can, yeah, <laughs> they, they can, can come can in. Um, but we're going to put up on the website. We recommend yeah. that you come after, after 12. 12 30. Yes. For a more enjoyable time. <laughs> yeah. um, so, I know that you're going to be helping with this station, one of these mini stations. So um, next, when, what day? Tuesday, Tuesday? Friday. OK. So on Tuesday, when you come in at 8.30, we'll get together with a group of three. Oh, uh, draw straws and some. Yeah, <laughs> draws, battle it out. Not, not a fight to the death, but yeah. OK. But if you, if you have a preference. Oh, I don't know. Which one? Do you want to look over the wall or? <laughs> look at solar panels, look at pictures, look, look at over pictures. the wall. I like the pictures. Jesus. I thought that? you might. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, take take a look at all those. They're all from our Cool. Let's see what And then you get to be inside of the tree. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, that's right. so everyone will be inside what? if it's raining. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I love it. I don't they call it the, the ballet when all the trolleys met, all three met at the exact same moment, <laughs> and then they do this really? fancy thing. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. I, I was I was supposed to be giving a. a Walking tour of Old Town at noon today. Oh, <laughs> I kind of talked about it, but but, but this was part of my speech, you know, the, the ballet of the trolleys at oh. every twenty minutes. Oh, really? And it happened over here, right at Maine and Maine. Oh, Maine and Maine. <laughs> Mountain College. <laughs> Mountain College. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The one would come back from Lindemeyer Lake, and the one from out west, and the third one, I guess, south was south. College Avenue, although College Avenue didn't go that far south. Probably. It ended at Drake when I moved here. Yeah, I don't think there's much out beyond Shields. Yeah. Oh, so do you know about the Harmony School? Jeez. Um, Not a lot. Because it surprised me that it's there from 1921 Harmony. or something. Harmony Harmony School, is that the one out on Vine? No. No, that's Har Harmony, Harmony School. Harmony Timberline. Harmony. Timberline. Oh, yeah. But I, whatever date it was built, I did not think the city went that far south. Oh, well, it was a country school. It was probably it, yeah, It's bigger school. now than it was it originally. Was, yeah, totally. Yeah, it would have been a country school where the kids rode their horses. That's yeah. cool. <laughs> that was a, a country, <laughs> yeah. No. Well, um, Washington was built in 1919. I finally got that put together the other oh. day. I only thought there for 10 years. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that but, was on the new and, by the campus. Yeah, I don't know new. <laughs> but so that makes Harmony just a little bit newer than Washington. But it would have been a. Oh, oh, here's. I think this is funny. It probably wasn't in Poudre School District. Um, which um, they took all the little districts around, like Wellington and Timnit. They, they were separate districts. And it must have been the 1950s. I'm so bad at dates. But they, um, they, yeah, the historians who can't do dates. Brought all together. Yeah, they um, gelled and, and formed Poudre School District. And Timnit is still mad about that. Really? They, wanted to keep their own district, their own high school. I interviewed a woman for that my TV show, and um, you could just sense she just 
bristled. <laughs> she wanted not to be part of it. Yeah. The, Whoa. No, they wanted their own. Wellington was hauled in at that time. I'm sure the Mountain School mm -hmm. had been separate and probably Harmony School. Yeah. Uh, that's my guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know it for a fact, but um, they were, well, there were many well, little districts before. Well, what financing did they? Well, I don't did know. They just I, I'm their sure that school? they, oh, for, uh, before they yeah. merged. Um, school. I suppose they taxed and um, ran their own programs, mm -hmm. but it's much, it has to save money to be a bigger district for yeah. more schools. Um, buses, share um, resources. curriculum, yeah. Mm -hmm. and uh, well, share. Why wouldn't they want that? Well, this maybe a pride that thing. Was, that was it. Right. That was there, and it wasn't just a school. It was the center of community life out in Kenya. They mm. they had all their meetings at the gym, and mm. um, so it was. Just the big deal is that they they had to lose their high school and their middle school because that's no people. No people. <laughs> but now, now it's growing, growing again. <laughs> they could have filled it up after all. Yeah. <laughs> well, Fifty years later. Yeah, right. right, right. Uh, Sixty years later. Mm, very interesting. Oh. Yes, very well done. That's that. Thank you for letting me share. Yeah, thanks for you're such an expert. Oh well, I. When somebody doesn't show up next week. Um, you <laughs> have to. I like what I'm going to be doing. Which here. one? Yeah, did I you coming up. Which are you assigned to? I'm going to. I get to do trading, fur trading. Oh, oh, that's fun. You wear a ring. I don't have one. I don't have any kind of animal skin. Look at it, she committed. <laughs> I know. That was only for survival. And we passed that. I do wear woolen.